For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, wanted to present our a schedule for our mock presentations. This is in the classroom. My name is Benjamin Stewart at benjaminlstewart.org. For those of you who are taking thesis seminar, wanted to share with you uh, some information about the mock presentations. Also wanted to touch a little bit on, on your final presentations, what to consider for those and when you can expect those, and also give you some uh, dates some very important dates as to your final first draft and your final draft that you're going to be expected uh, to complete for for this thesis seminar course. So let's start first with the mock presentations. As you see here, this is going to be our schedule for our mock presentations. That's going to begin on May 27th, 2019. We're going to begin on Monday and uh, begin uh, at the times that are designated in the schedule. So on Monday and Wednesday, we'll start at 10.30. All the other days, we'll start at uh, 9.30. So take a look at who else is going to be presenting with you. And I would work out with your classmates for that particular day to bring with you maybe one computer and uh, preferably have all of your presentations already installed on the computer so that you can easily go from one to the next the day that we're presenting uh, just to save some time otherwise you'll need to bring in maybe a, a memory uh, a thumb drive uh, with your presentation and uh, have that ready to go and uh, have it uh, uh, have it with you so that uh, again we can move from one one to the next uh, easily you prepare your 20 minute presentation and uh, we're going to allow 10 minutes or so for your tutors uh, for us to give you uh, some feedback. So we want to give you some things to look at and consider, uh, taking into consideration what the examiners will also be looking for and to give you that experience. M the, those of you who are taking a uh, thesis seminar with me, I'm, I'm going to ask you to complete a reflection for these two weeks and ask you that you observe not only the classmates that are scheduled the same day that you are, but also two other days um, that are going to be scheduled after the date that you're scheduled to present. So, for example, if you're scheduled on Monday, May 27th, I'm going to ask you to observe May 28th and May 29th and uh, include in your reflection not only feedback that you received for your own uh, presentation, but also any feedback that your classmates received that also relate to your own study. There might be some things or some... Uh, some things that come up that we talk about with other uh, with other learners that you think also might apply to your own presentation. So you can include that in your uh, reflection. I think a 200 to 250 word reflection is going to be enough for this uh, for this particular assignment. And I'm going to assign June 7th, Friday, to complete this assignment. So even if you if you have your if you have your mock presentation scheduled for the first week on Monday or Tuesday, you'll have until May 7th to complete it. You can upload it at any time uh, during that first week or even the second week. Again, so I'll just have one due date for everyone's reflection for the mock presentations. If you're scheduled at the end of the mock presentation list, so if you're scheduled on June 4th or June 5th, then I would ask that you observe the days after, uh, for example, on June 5th, I would ask that you observe May 27th and May, 20, May 28th uh, for, uh, for observing your classmates' work. All right, so the mock presentations, this is going to be our schedule, and we're going to follow more or less the same schedule for the final presentations. So if you're scheduled for May 27th as your, your date that you're going to present your mock presentation, you can anticipate for the most part, that you're going to present your final presentation, your final oral defense on June 7th. Okay, on June, is that right? I'm sorry, June 10th. On June 10th. So we're going to begin our final presentations on June 10th. So again, if you're scheduled for uh, to present on May 27th, it'll be two weeks later. If you're scheduled, your if your mock presentation is scheduled for May 28th, you're going to present on June 11th, and so on. Now there could be some changes to this schedule. So if you're scheduled as presenting first for any given day, it's possible that you could present the day before. If again there are any last-minute changes to the schedule, uh, 
we are going to present the confirmed final oral defense schedule on May 27th. So we can confirm a little bit later uh, exactly which day you're going to present. But I think you can, uh, for most of you, you can anticipate which day that you will uh, present so that you can begin sending out invitations if you want anyone to attend your oral defense. Speaking about your oral defense, your final presentation, this is going to be by invitation only. So you can invite friends and family as you wish. Some learners decide not to invite anyone. So it's entirely up to you who you want to, uh, to observe. I'm sorry, who you want to attend your, your talk. I would, uh, for your final presentation, I would bring your own computer, have everything installed, ready to go, so that when it's your turn to give your, your final presentation, that it's as quick as possible. Bring in your own computer, set it up, and, and you're, you're going to be good to go. Also, plan for your oral defenses. You want to get with your other classmates, and you'll want to bring in some uh, some snacks and maybe some beverages for the uh, examiners. Uh, the examiners are are accepting to uh, to do this extra work and uh, look at your and evaluate your um, evaluate your work. So it's always a good idea to bring in some snacks and beverages the day that you're going to present. And again, just get with your other classmates and try to uh, schedule and get and 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 plan on trying to present or include some snacks for, for that particular day. All right, so the last thing I'll mention are the due dates. So remember that the final first draft is going to be due May 24th. And you want to also include um, or consider that your final presentation is going to be due one week before your oral defense. So if you're scheduled on June 10th to present your oral defense, then you can anticipate uh, having a due date of June 3rd for your final written thesis. Your final written thesis will need to be bound, and you'll need to have three copies uh, turned in. Again, three copies turned in one week before your final presentation, and your first draft is going to be due May 24th, 2019. Your first draft is going to be due at 9 o'clock, I'm sorry, 1 o'clock uh, on May 24th. After 1 o'clock p.m., your, your first draft will not be accepted. If you don't turn in your first draft, you're not going to be eligible to present your mock presentations. All right, so May 24th, 1 o'clock is the deadline for the first draft, your final draft one week before your final presentation. The, another thing I want to mention is that the final presentation, the oral defense, is a, is a formal event. So make sure that you dress appropriately. Make sure that you dress professionally, dress comfortably, but professionally, and punctuality. Very important that you arrive early so that you can you can start on time. We've had cases where some uh, have arrived five minutes late and they were not able to present. So it's, punctuality is very important. Make sure if you have uh, people who that you've invited that they also arrive on time because once you begin, we, we shut the door, lock the door, and no one can come in or go out. So make sure that you are uh, you are prepared and that you are on time and that all of those who have been invited are also on time. Okay, I mentioned about bringing your own computer. Just checking my notes here, making sure I'm not forgetting anything. There's a lot of details, and again, if you have questions, we can also talk about this in our tutoring session. But I wanted to give you a heads up about not only your mock presentations, but your oral defense, what you can expect, and start planning accordingly, especially if you're working and you can, uh, you know, uh, schedule your time accordingly. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, for your first draft, one more thing, your first draft needs to be turned in. Make sure that it's at least stapled. Uh, you don't really have to have it bound necessarily. This is your first draft, so you're going to be making additional changes. But it's important that you do print it out. I think I mentioned before that... Uh, you know, since you're working in Google Docs, 
that that would be enough. But uh, I forgot that we actually need the printed uh, document so that the other tutor can have that available whenever you present your mock presentation. So make sure that the the version of your paper that needs to be complete uh, needs to have all of the sections that we talked about, the literature, the method, the results, discussion, your references, and your appendices. That needs to be included in your first draft, and you need to have it printed out when you drop it off before 1 o'clock on May 24th so that it can be passed on to the other tutor so he or she can have it when you present your mock presentation. The tutors will also be giving you some feedback, some written feedback in your written document, in addition to your oral defense. So again, make sure that your first draft is printed out for May 24th uh, so that, um, yeah, so that that can be included as part of the feedback for your mock presentations. I think that's it. Um, make sure that you have backups to any files that you have. You know, the, the beauty of using Google Docs and one of the reasons why we chose to use this this semester so that you don't have problems losing information. But now that we're talking about using a computer and having your your presentation now on a separate, you know, machine, there's always going to be the risk of losing data. So make sure that you always in fact the Google Docs will always remain out there uh until the very end of the course. So you're you're always going to have access to that, but just make sure that You've got a, a couple of backups on with you, so that for whatever reason, if you're if you have a memory, um, you know, a thumb drive, maybe you have two thumb drives. It seems like overkill, but uh, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So when you present, make sure that everything's in, in working order. Make sure that the computer has been updated. That you turn automatic updates off so that you don't. It doesn't go into update mode right in the middle of your presentation. Believe me, I tell you this because it's happened in the past. So really try to plan and schedule uh, accordingly and make sure that the your machine is ready to go. So again, you have no distractions during the final presentation or during the mock presentation. So I think I'll stop there. I hope this helps. This has been a brief overview over the mock presentations about what you can expect, the schedule that you can uh, uh, check here, and um, this is what we're going to be working on and, can, and focusing on starting May 27th, working on your oral defense, helping you with uh, presenting your ideas, and we'll be talking more specifically a little bit later on about what to include, what not to include in your presentation, and how to deliver your oral defense, giving you some tips and strategies and how you can prepare. So I think that's it. This has been In the Classroom with Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.org, making teaching and learning more transparent.